What is up everybody? Today, like I promised, I'm going to be doing a video doing a bunch of Sentinel comparisons and just to really give you an idea if you're someone who hasn't bought the Sentinel yet and you're trying to buy him on eBay and you're not sure if you should buy him in box or opened, uh, this will be basically telling you uh, either like nine times out of ten you're going to get a good Sentinel or a bad one. Uh, definitely something uh, just to kind of see why it's like if you should just be buying him uh, already opened. But uh, I'm going to look at all these figures, see if there's any quality control damages that definitely are, uh, should be known about. Uh, and it's definitely something that's very important to see uh, if there is any issues other than the loose knees, because we already know that's a solvable issue, but mostly pain applications. Is that something that's going to be continuing on through a lot of Sentinels? Something that's rare? Is it common? Maybe all of them, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, now as I am opening up the Sentinels, I'm on my third one now, and I've already ran into the tissue paper being stuck to the figure. And up close, you can see that there's uh, like a very uh, like weird like hexagon texture here going on. Uh, it goes throughout, and it's basically on the figure. Uh, this is on his arm gauntlet. That's what sucks. Uh, and this, I've seen this issue on other figures. Hasbro doesn't want to talk about it. I'm sure people have had to file their complaints and hopefully they actually do fix an issue like this because this is really Hasbro's fault. This is not on collector's preferences. This is a big, big deal. Uh, and this has to fall into the line where they're packing the items and not, uh, doing it properly. Um, so... <laughs> This is the issue. Uh, if you put some water on it, should it peel off easily and not pull off any paint because the white residue should be able to come off easily. All right, now that I got all that other tissue paper out of the way, I've been getting this uh, last piece here just really wet here. I've been using a, a towel. I got it damped wet with soap and water, and I just kind of been going at it and at it time and time again, dabbing it, and then I'm pulling. So... It's just really, really uh, kind of hard to do. And you, you got to have patience. Uh, ultimately, you got to make sure you got patience here. I'm still doing it, as you can see. But uh, just to give you an idea, this is what I ended up with. I got the rest of that tissue paper out of the way. Um, and I'm just kind of getting it wet on all sides. And then very, very minimal on pulling. Uh, as soon as I feel a slight bit of tension then I'm just going to go and stop and start pulling somewhere else. Uh, I know this is uh, something that a lot of you probably already know to do, but uh, definitely for those who don't, uh, this is, I think, a helpful tip to avoid any future damage to your Sentinel as you're just trying to unbox him. Now, <laughs> part of it is still stuck. I mean, I have gotten part of it off successfully, uh, but part of it's still there and I'm still taken care of it so i'll show you the aftermath in a minute i also would like to just point out right now i do feel like i'm in the squid game doing that honeycomb game and yeah this is not fun okay i peeled that off very successfully now you can see though it's very very subtle but on the camera hopefully it can show up where it was stuck is actually having a slight color change on that imprint hopefully the lighting can show it off a bit but you can definitely see that there is that same uh you know uh shape that the paper tissue was formed in is definitely still implemented on the figure uh definitely seems like a little bit of a metallic loss here uh very very minor though still very minor and uh with that trick i showed you guys with the water it definitely kept this figure from losing actual paint and being peeled off uh so if you do have this issue uh, or you know about the issue coming to your Sentinel or whatever, if you still haven't gotten your one that you actually got from Hasbro, definitely make sure you use the water trick and the towel and some soap maybe. Uh, I don't think the soap really did much, to be honest, but the water definitely helped. Uh, you know, but play with it. Treat it like you're in the squid game right now. Okay, now with all these Sentinels, I'm only using four for this part of the video. I really kind of fit the fifth one here. Uh, but... As far as I can tell that, you know, every single one, you're going to probably have to adjust something with the knees. It's give or take, you know, uh, just, just to, you know, judge it from the amount I have here. 
uh, you're gonna have some issues with your Sentinel. Now, uh, there's just parts that, you know, throughout the figure, you know, they're very subtle, but they could be totally random. Some could be very minimal, but uh, expect to see some sort of dance or, or, or something where it's just like a very, very light and dense scratch. I notice it mostly on the uh, helmets. Uh, there's just like, oh, it seems to be like some kind of weird little fush hick indent on uh, some of those figures. Um, you know, and obviously they all kind of varied. Sometimes there were perfect heads and sometimes there weren't. Most times there weren't really. Uh, but, you know, with that being said, you guaranteed you're going to probably have some sort of issue. Now, uh, unfortunately, I can just show this really quick. Like with my one sentinel head here. He has just like a slight little red rubbing, right? Uh, rubbing on the paint rub on the face. Uh, so that was just kind of like a bad apple, right? Uh, and I noticed this with like uh, Bastion, uh, the paint apps can be applied differently. So if you're someone who's really, really, uh, you know, trying to make sure they have like the best version, you probably want to buy this loose. Uh, or not, maybe not even loose, but opened enough to where you could maybe actually get photos and get a good judgment on the idea of how the product looks because it is a lot of money you're gonna probably pay for these figures uh it's definitely recommended you probably should uh make sure to see exactly what you will get now obviously when that tissue paper was uh stuck on mine three out of the six in total i've had uh had that issue so you know either you're gonna have it or you won't uh and even if you don't, you know, there still could be uh, paint removed from the figure. Uh, you know, I noticed it with one of mine. He had it on his shoulder pad. Tissue paper wasn't even stuck there. Maybe it was there before and it did it while it was shipped. Not really sure. But that is something you definitely want to look at. You know, um, if it has that issue, you're going to have to squid game it, you know, and basically pick at it for uh, the amount of time it needs to take to peel off it without taking the paint from the figure with it uh still a cool figure you know overall you know i mean obviously i give my review uh but with these figures you know they're definitely still worth that price point i mean obviously 700 dollars or whatever the the double amount would be uh or whatever the rate would go to it i think it still would be worth it um it's still a great uh figures uh, there is just those minor, uh, issues throughout, uh, and yeah, we shouldn't be having those, especially when you pay high money for something like this, but if you're someone who is definitely, uh, deciding if you should get it or not and pay the higher amount, uh, that it's going for, or if you want to, you know, wait it out with Hasbro until they ever decide to release another one, uh, you know, this is something that I would say you should at least see how it looks you know physically before actually buying it uh i know uh there's a few places other than ebay now that have them for sale you have got actually good cheap rate now uh this is probably the lowest you could get it to be honest before it just kind of keeps going up and up and up because uh you know <laughs> there's always new collectors and there's always people leaving and you know you know quitting or just you know who bought more uh obviously i'm keeping my set but um, that's just something for you guys to know, you know, hey, there's figures out there and it's going to go uh, higher in price. And, you know, if anyone offers to see the figure, uh, definitely take up on that opportunity. Because if you're buying sealed, you do not know what you're going to get. Uh, and it could be, you know, way worse with the tissue paper. It could be, you know, none at all or God knows what. But uh, definitely that right arm gauntlet always had this issue. Uh, and that is the one thing that Hasbro is not going to be talking about. Uh, because, I mean, right now their main focus is just, yeah, the, the knee issues are something. Uh, but if Hasbro is listening, uh, definitely let that paint dry longer so the tissue doesn't get stuck to the figures. Because people should not be worrying about this. Uh, obviously, the paint missing, the paint rubs, you know, or... God knows what else, right? Uh, it's understandable that there might be something kind of like bad, but um, it is a big figure and it's just generic, right? But when you have something like that, where it's obviously caused by the factory, definitely is not acceptable. Uh, 
you know, even if you do successfully pull it off like I did with all of mine, I still took about like 30 minutes to get each and every single one of those off. And yeah, so uh, that's something that Hasbro definitely should uh, make sure they don't do again with Galactus when he comes out. For Bastion, up close, I just wanted to show uh, the head sculpt, the black lipstick got like applied higher than usual. So we got a little weird and then the beer got painted a little below. So that's just kind of like another thing that's like, that would definitely make me mad if I got this. I, I paid 700 and I just got the one, you know, Bastion head. Uh, that would totally suck. Um, and then, you know, this one, you could see that there's like an extra mold on that chest there. Uh, can't really do much about it. It just seems like, yep, that's there. That's part of the figure now. So um, again, that's another thing. Like definitely want to look out and see what you could possibly have wrong with your figure. And with the Tri Sentinel head, I noticed that the most bad with this one, uh, that you could just see that that indent just right there. I mean, it's the Tri Sentinel head, so maybe you could just, you know, boop, put it on this side and it'll look decent. But uh, that's just, you know, that was like the worst head that I got. So, uh, you know, if you want to get a good look, if you're very strict about stuff like that, uh, definitely take a look. So hopefully this video did give you guys some insight on the Sentinels here. Um, obviously all of them had a good electrical pro like, you know, the electrics worked. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say here. Uh, the electrics worked and there was nothing wrong with, uh, the lights going on or anything like that. Um, so, you know, hopefully that wouldn't be an issue for you regardless, but yeah. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see y'all next time.